Welcome back to Nick's Vids. In this video, I'm going to be doing, again I know, the fork seals on my ZX6R 636B1H. Okay, first thing you need to do is remove the front wheel to gain access to the forks. I've already done that because I've just changed my discs and pads. You then need to crack off the following bolts. The top ones for fork caps, these ones here. Your actual clip-on bars and the triple tree itself. And there's another one at the bottom of the triple tree in there, which I'll show you once I've taken off this plastic cover. Once you've got the fork on the bench, you need to undo this cap here and then release all of the fluid that's inside into the, a container. Now I need to get your fork spring compressor, put it over the top and insert it into the two holes shown there doesn't need to be tight, just make sure it gets through both the L's. So place a bar through the axle hole at the bottom of the fork and attach ratchet straps down from the top and the bottom and then compress the fork. Ratchet it down till just before the threads touch the outer fork tube. Don't let them touch it or you'll damage it. Okay, pull the fork cap up, insert either a 10mm spanner underneath the nut or the actual tool, which I forgot. Place a 14mm spanner on the lock nut, lock nut and then loosen off the top fork cap. Then unscrew the fork cap from the actual fork itself. Remove the rod. So you're going to need to tie something around this rod here because once you remove the, uh, the tension device you um, won't be able to get it back. So I've used string. I advise using either wire or actually threading a bolt onto the top here because as we had the string snap first time on the first fork. So once you've removed that and you've lowered the uh, center compression rod, I think it is, inside of the uh, fork, undo your ratchet straps and then allow the fork to rise. Okay, so now you need to remove the spring and then pull the fork out from the outer cylinder. Make sure you've removed all of the last bits of fluid from the fork. There shouldn't be much left in there. Place a flathead between the fork seal and the full outer fork tube and prise it apart slowly, removing the fork seal from the, the fork. Uh, slide the outer fork tube up, all the way up, and it should come off, leaving the uh, actual fork seal itself rather than the dust seal inside. Remove the, uh, the clip holding the actual dust, the seal in with a flathead. Don't pop the spring out like I've just done, but it don't matter. Once you remove the seal, give it a big, nice clean up inside, drag a rag through it, make sure it's all clean, and then refit the next seal. You don't have to remove this washer, but make sure you get it back in if you do remove it. Place your seal the correct way round in the fork. You can use a socket to make sure you push down and get it in nicely. Place your little clip inside the fork, slide the new dust seal onto the fork, the inner fork tube, all the way down out of the way, and then grab the outer fork tube and slide it over the top. So for your fork level, it's 101 millimeters, whatever your service book says, and you've got to do it from the edge of this down. Like that. Okay, the spring is tapered at one end. You need to place the thicker end inside the tube first. <laughs> okay, place the fork compression tool back on the top of the fork and do up the ratchets slowly, but again down to uh, the top of the actual outer fork tube. Ooh. Okay, re tighten your ratchet straps and then place your spanner back under this compression rod. Place the dampening rod in the fucking dampening rod tube thing! 
Yes, I have three hands. Okay, so the stock dampening measurement is 13 millimeters. So if we go from there, and as long as the locking nut is below 13 millimeters, when we adjust the actual dampening adjuster to about that, it should fit on nicely. What you've got to do is you've got to adjust this with a flathead. So the distance from the top of here to the bottom of that flathead bolt is 13, the top of that flathead bolt is 13 millimeters there. And then you can screw it on to the top of the dampening rod. Okay, so once you've attached this and nipped it up, release your retaining clip or your spanner, and then remove your ratchet straps and then do the top fork cap up. Do your fork cap up nice and tight and give it a nip once it's inside the actual motorcycle itself. Place the fork back in the bike, nip up all your bolts, place the front wheel back on and you should be good to go. Did you know that's how you do it? Did you know? So get your fork bench. <laughs>